Hello and welcome. My name is Elaine and this is an update plan for my channel Cobalt Dragon. Each month I'm going to try and focus on a certain topic. In several cases it will spill over into two months and of course throughout all of that will be the continuation of Fridays with my silly cats and or nature videos. There'll be nature videos in the mix. I also need to do my banned book summaries of the books that I've read. So those will be coming up as well. I need to do a book track wrap up. That will be the end of August. And as well, there'll be different reading summaries and tags and other things that come up. But each month, in order to try and get my own reading on track and planned, as well as producing content, I'm going to start trying to have a theme of the month. August and into September is going to be UFOs and some conspiracy theories regarding that, as well as how different parts of the paranormal tie in in regard to cryptids, energy fields. This blue basket has all the UFO books that I've reread and there's still a few that I need to get to as well as some other books that have a tie in to that. So the main focus August, September, UFOs, conspiracies, and some out-of-the-box topics. That will lead into October, November, which will cover, and that's this entire cube that I need to read, and there's some books I have elsewhere because they don't fit, will be vampires, ghosts, cryptids, things that go bump in the night. I'll also be taking a look at science fiction, there's always a special episode on October the 30th on my channel, a tribute to H.G. Wells, the radio broadcast by Orson Welles of War of the Worlds. It's also the one day of the year that I have the closest thing to a tradition, which is listening to the musical War of the Worlds, so I always look forward to that date. December is a difficult month for many people, myself included. Here in Ontario, it's of course winter, the skies are dreary, there's so many other things going on. No, I'm not one of the shoppers who way overspends and then dreads the new year, nor am I one of the people who stands around in lines returning gifts that I didn't really want. So, December is a challenging month. Okay. Change that part. December is a difficult month for a variety of reasons. Here in Ontario, we're into winter, cloudy weather starts to impact on mood. There's also a number of other things, and no, I'm not one of those people who goes crazy shopping and runs up massive debt. It's a very quiet time of year here with my husband and I and our fur babies. But I figure I'll keep December light, so we'll be looking at Politically Correct Bedtime Stories by James Finn Garner. Definitely not the version of the fairy tales that most of you know. I'll also be taking a look at The Celestine Prophecy and that series by James Redfield as well as taking a look at a number of books by Paulo Coelho that I've read. I've done an earlier video on The Alchemist, but I'll be taking a look at different novels that I've read of his, Aleph, The Spy, and a number of others. January, I figure, is a good time to launch into astronomy as Again, it's still a challenging, difficult time. The skies vary between clear and cloudy. 
people are feeling a bit down as all those credit card bills and things come in. So it's a good time to look up and try and be hopeful. So it's a good time to look up and be hopeful about what the future holds. So I'll be taking a look at Seeing in the Dark by Timothy Ferris, as well as a number of the other astronomy books that I have. February, of course, to talk about the February blues. So again, a focus on self-care, talking about Reiki, which I happen to have my master teacher level in, reflexology, which yes, I am a certified reflexologist, as well as a number of other tips and things that you can do at home, as well as looking at a number of other tips and things that you can do at home to get in that positive, good perspective mindset, even on those challenging days. March, which is as far as I currently have subjects planned out to, will be the Anunnaki astronaut theory, as well as Atlantis. So taking a look at people like Taking a look at people like Zachariah Sitchin and his six-volume series, The Earth Chronicles. I'd show you, but at the moment, they're behind this basket of books that I need to sort through as well. We'll also include books by Eric Von Doniken, Graham Hancock, Edgar Cayce, and so many other people. If any of these topics sound of interest to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload content that may be of interest to you. Also, be sure to give that like button a little tickle. Leave me a comment down below which of these topics are of interest to you and have you delved into any of them? If you have authors that you've written, let me know, are there different authors that you've read and enjoyed regarding these topics? I'm always looking for my next good read, so be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, and until next time, take good care.